हेलो एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो आई एम मोनिका एंड टुडे इज़ ट्विस्टे एंड इट्स ऑलमोस्ट 4 पीएम आई हैव स्टार्टेड माय व्लॉग इंट्रोड्यूसिंग माय गोलू शी इज़ वन ऑफ माय ओल्डेस्ट रेस्क्यू ऑफ माय लाइफ सो शी हैज़ बीन इन क्रेज फॉर ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स ईयर्स now i am taking her back to my house so it's a long story i will tell you later story of a paralyzed indian dog who cannot survive on street after uh, she got paralyzed so <clears throat> she is has been with me since 2013 so my prescriptions are saying that so today her age will be uh, 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 21 so almost 9 years she is 8 years plus means in december she will complete december no means in november she will complete 9 years because when i rescued her at that time she may be 2 <coughs> months old so that was the december time so maybe october or november will be her birth month on 2013 so that's how i could assume her age so actually while going to my office i that time uh, live in lived in damdam area so every morning i find this puppy on the road and i used to feed her but one day evening when i return back uh, a person on that area he approached me and said that this puppy had been attacked by some other dogs and she could not move so from that time my journey with her started i took her to my home i started to <clears throat> consult vets my vet he is my vet actually he did a marvelous job with many cases and i think he is the one of the most best person and animal lover as well as vet in kolkata and that time he uh, was in full swing of doing practice so he tried his best but one year passed modu sorry her name is golu golu could not uh, recover it's a failure case um, we tried allopathy homeopathy acupuncture whatever he suggested i tried but all failed golu remained as a paralyzed dog and then on 2014 when i got married golu uh, came with me to my new flat and uh, there she was with me for a year and after that on 2015 uh, my husband got transferred to gurgaon and i was suffering from my headache 
uh, when we shifted to Gurgaon, we actually could not uh, take her along with us. The reason is uh, we frequently used to uh, visit Kolkata. So I was looking for a crash in Kolkata where we could keep Godu, uh, sorry, Golu. Uh, and even also I, my headache at that time was uh, severe. So I just uh, looking for, I was just looking for a good crash and that time a crash I find uh, on uh, just style and then call them up and uh, with monthly uh, 4k they were ready to keep Golu so since then Golu was living with that crash and when we returned back to Kolkata on 2016 November recent, uh, sorry October October that time <clears throat> I have been diagnosed with my nose tumor, nasal tumor and on November my daughter born. On the next day I have been gone through MRI, CT scan and on, on the second day my nasal tumor was operated. So that time Mini was just born only and uh, I was going through my uh, physical issues that time, so I could not bring her back. And after two or three months, again recurrence of my nasal issues. Uh, so we <coughs> submitted uh, my slide uh, for biopsy in the medical center. And they confirmed that I am having uh, lymph sarcoma. So since then, I have been going through a very critical period of time for almost uh, two years. And <clears throat> since 2017-18, I was going through chemotherapy radiations. And, um, and after 2018, I was just... Uh, fighting with all the side effects of chemotherapy so i could not bring her back on, on uh, at the end of 2019-20 at th that time actually i was doing little bit of uh, work for the street dogs by keeping them inside my house because outside i could not uh, do uh, their treatment because of the sunlight and uh, I, I am just having severe headaches still then also even today as well so I could not go out so these are the issues why I could not bring Golu uh, back to my life but uh, whatever the cases I am dealing with I have this thing in my mind that I am missing something I am missing my Golu uh, to whom I am responsible. I was asking that girl who is taking care of Golu in the crash so that I can visit there. But they are also going through some tough times, so some little delayed offer. And after lots of turmoil, today I bring her back to my life. But I need to change her. The reason is Bodu. Bodu uh, is getting very much aggressive with her. So I need to change both of them. I hope for after a few days they will just adjust together. And I am looking for a good home for Bodu even. Because uh, although Bodu is my dog, but if Bodu don't adjust with Golu, then... Uh, you know, Golu's condition is much more critical than Bodu, so Golu is much preferred to stay with me, not Bodu. So, on, with a heavy heart, I have to say these words because uh, I don't have any other way. Because 
I know in future maybe some other dogs also need treatment then I have to bring them to my house so where I will keep how long I can manage in uh, doing all the services uh, to the patients as well as who are not patient who are just uh, my residents my pets so I am the only person to take care of them and monetary issues are also there <coughs> so it will be very difficult uh, for me so that's why I am looking for a home for Bodu uh, with heavy heart and hope God will help me I don't know and actually human can help me in uh, just in the, in the disguise of God that's uh, what I believe only and that's the story and she's very thin she got very thin now I don't know why because of her age or something else but I hope the rest of her life I could support her truly and God will help me and I will help them. So that's what I wish. So that's the story of Bolu. softly spoken with no strings tying you to me i'm happy in your company with no emotion because my love deserves to be free i never want to look at a house in the garden i never want to lock you down i know you're not mine it's just my turn but we can still have fun for now Trust me, consider your message received When you said you couldn't take us too seriously I must admit I was relieved Cause I never want to play happy families with you But I like having you around I'm fully aware this is a flesh in the pan But we can still have fun for now Good morning everyone. Today is uh, Thursday. So I am in great hurry. Now it's 10 p.m. And Mimi's class is now been scheduled from, sorry, 10 a.m. Mimi's class has been scheduled from 9 a.m. So I remain super busy in the morning doing all the, my routine work for my dogs and uh, also making Mimi ready. Already half an hour class finished, English class finished and just now we'll enter into our uh, next session because now the class uh, schedule is from 9 to 9.40 and <clears throat> then after 10 minutes break then 10 to 10.40 then after 10 minutes break 11 to 11.40. So in this way the class is going on. It's uh, little good but because as it's from 9 a.m so i have to make myself ready more swiftly and i have to wake up in the morning more early but i could not actually i wake up today on 8 a.m so i am late and that's why everything messed up and now I have to go to join into the online class for Mimi. So let's go. Oh. 
मैं पापो भूमि पापो कर्म हूँ पापात्मा पापो शंभो त्रैमा कुंडली का शर्व पापो हर हरि बोल 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 मैम ना गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल After her class, now me and Mimi are in my little garden to uh, pick some of the flowers for my puja. So Mimi is very much interested in uh, plucking uh, flowers from the tree. So I am helping her just. This is my lunch plate. This is neem pata with brinjal fry. This one is mushur dal. This is saag with some potatoes. And this is pat pata fry, my most favorite thing. And I have made this chutney, this tomato chutney today. I have already fed uh, my furry babies and my daughter too. And uh, they are all sleeping now. They are all relaxing. নিজে নিজে কাল তোমার সঙ্গে দৌড়া ও মিমি রাপাত যা ও ভাবছে আমি হলো After dinner and completed uh, giving uh, food to my uh, furry babies and Mimi already slept, this is my time. So cleaning my kitchen. I used to do this almost every week. And this really maintains my kitchen uh, good. And everything I believe needs maintenance. So I am using Colleen uh, to clean it.
some salt to some lukewarm water uh, it's a nasal wash uh, which is very important for me because this is the uh, after uh, radiation so this is the side effects i am having nasal crust uh, so much that i need to clean my uh, nasal area every day almost twice so first i have to take this vapor and after this crust uh, gets little uh, soften then i just uh, use that nasal wash to clean my nose area otherwise i feel very uncomfortable and it's not normal um, cough and cough and, or, or cold anything it's the side effects of radiation what i am going through so it's been almost 3 years i have been doing this things every day actually uh, the chicken was in, uh, in short so i have to cook some more chicken for the street dogs uh, in uh, at night uh, my already uh, home furry babies all fed only the street dogs were left so uh, this time uh, it's very hot now as i have just opened the pressure cooker so i have to keep for some times or make it cool then i will give them my sofa cover has been too much dirty all day mimi is just jumping on it and so i uh, decided to uh, start my washing machine tomorrow thus i am putting the work forward tonight mornings i remain super busy so this the, this is the reason Till then, take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night.